Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video. This is my sixth card that I've made in my capsule paper crafting series. And this one is super colorful, kind of like a rainbow theme here. And I'm starting out with the background stamp that I chose for my capsule, which is the String It Out background from Inkblot. Now this background stamp has quite a few things going on here. But I decided I would do a little bit of rainbow stamping with it. And at first I thought it would only be the stamping without any blending, but you'll see as we get going here that it did need a little something extra. I'm mounting the background stamp in my Misty Stamp Positioning Tool. And when you're doing rainbow stamping, you do want to use a stamping platform or a Misty, something like this, so that you can continually uh, stamp that same image over and over in the same place. And you also need to choose a few different colors to work with. I'm using nine different shades of Gina K Designs Premium Dye Ink, and I'm starting with this set of three, which is Wild Dandelion, Tangerine Twist, and Red Hot. I'm going to start with the darkest shade or the most saturated, which is the Red Hot color, and I'm gonna put that at the very bottom of this stamp where the lines on the design are most concentrated. I'm gonna ink that up, just so I have a kind of a third of the stamped in the spot of corner inked up. Then I'm taking a paper towel and I'm dabbing off a little bit of that ink right in the area where it will transition into the next color, which is that tangerine twist. So I've stamped the red hot, making sure I walk my fingertips over that entire area. And then I can move on to the next color. I'm not cleaning the stamp. I'm just going right into the next color, which is Tangerine Twist. And I've inked up my stamp. And this time I'm going to paper towel off the transition where it goes from red to orange and also where it will eventually go from orange to yellow. So I stamp that down. And then I'm revealed, uh, when I lift it up, it reveals this kind of transition going from red to orange. I've now got that wild dandelion color and I'm gonna finish off that area from the orange all the way to the top of the background stamp and then just kind of uh, take off a little bit of that color with the paper towel where it transitions into the orange. So now I have this really cool transition going from a red color at the bottom all the way up to yellow at the top. I'm going to use the same exact technique and the same sequence of stamping for the other two groups of colors that I've chosen from my ink selections. The next group is In the Navy, Tranquil Teal, and Key Lime. And like I did with the previous color grouping, I'm starting with the most intense shade first, which is In the Navy. I then uh, stamped that down, put on a little bit of Tranquil Teal, and paper toweled off the transition areas just like I did before, and then stamped down. Now I have this transition from a more intense navy blue up into more of a teal shade. And the final color for this grouping is Key Lime. And I'm using that color all the way from the transition area to the very top of the background stamp. So for my last grouping, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but just change up the colors. For the third group of colors, I'm using Wild Lilac, lipstick, and dusty rose. This is a really nice color uh, kind of grouping, but I did notice after I stamped it that it didn't kind of blend as well as the other ones did because that red color is very intense compared to the, to the wild lilac. So since all of the colors, I mean, I liked the transition, but I wanted a little more oomph with all of the color. So I decided to take those same exact colors and ink blend them over the stamping. So I started with that third group with Wild Lilac and I'm um, going all the way to Dusty Rose. And I just really wanted to intensify that color, really make the transition pop on all three of these color groupings. So after I had that purple to pink, I went to my blue to green and blended up all of those colors until they were nice and smooth. And then the last grouping is the one going from Bread Hot to Tangerine Twist to Wild Dandelion. And after I blended each of these, I felt so much better about it and it had more of that rainbow feel that I was looking for. So now that I have these three groupings done, I trimmed them down to one inch wide strips. Now I had plenty of stamping here that I could make two of these cards today, but I'm just focusing on the one that I created. So I trimmed each one of these down to a one inch by five and a half inch piece of paper. And then I arranged them 
onto another piece of paper so they were side by side. I just put some tape runner adhesive on the back. This is Tombow Extreme Adhesive. And then I just put it on top of the grid paper that I'd been using as kind of like the backdrop paper when I was doing my blending. Thought I'd just go ahead and use this paper while it was out. So I adhered all three of these together so that they're right up against each other. And then I used my paper trimmer to trim this down so that all of that paper that I used as a backer is not seen at all. I just trimmed it all the way to the edge of each of these ink blended pieces. I'm not going to do some stamping. My greeting is from the Greetings Mix 1 stamp set from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to use the circle stamp that says, You Are My Happy, and I'm stamping it in VersaFine Onyx Black ink onto some white cardstock. The white cardstock I chose for my capsule paper crafting box is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. After I had that stamped, I used my scissors and very carefully trimmed around the outside edge of this circle stamp, um, just a nice smooth circle, leaving a little bit of a white edge. And then I'm left with my greeting. So I decided I wanted to add a few other little black elements onto my card design just so it made that greeting look a little bit more purposeful. So I took the three hearts in that same stamp set and stamped them directly onto my colorful background that I created. And I repeated these three heart stamps a few times so that it created sort of a cluster of hearts. The last thing to do is to assemble my card, and at this point I decided to go ahead and make it a 5x7 card. So I created the card base out of that same white cardstock, and then I trimmed a half inch off the top of my colorful piece, just so it was the right dimensions to go on my card base. So now the finished size is 3 inches wide by 5 inches tall. Put some foam adhesive on the back, as well as some foam adhesive on the back of my greeting, and then press that down onto the front of my card. That finishes the card for today. I love how colorful this one is, using that background stamp for a little bit of texture, lots of blending. I really enjoyed this card and had a lot of fun creating it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video very soon.